energy so welcome back to my channel um, I'm gonna do a testing so I'm recording this um, a week before we leave um, so on actual pie day I will be in Norway and I didn't know like if there's pie in Norway I mean they're probably pretty sure there's pie in Norway but but I want but since I was traveling I wanted to actually do this video ahead of time so I can get it recorded and edited and out um, so happy pie day and in celebration of pie day I am trying three pies from mom's apple pie mom's apple pie is located in two locations they have a location in Aquaquan Virginia and I think the other location is in Leesburg I'm I'm pretty sure I'll have to relook I've never been to the Leesburg shop uh, because Leesburg is like an hour and a half away from us uh, and, but I, you know, I don't go to the Aquacon shop like frequently, but every few months we'll head out there. Um, my favorite thing is actually their molasses cookies. I got them like one Christmas and I've been addicted to them ever since. And thankfully it's not a seasonal thing because sometimes molasses cookies are, are kind of associated with like the holidays. They have them year round and when they're nice and soft and chewy, they're fantastic. But today is about pies. So I have three pies. I have the mom's apple pie, like they're just generic apple pie. And then I have the mom's sour cherry uh, crumb pie, which I've actually had before. And that's one of my favorites, um, which is shocking because I don't like cherries. I mean, I like cherries, but I don't like sour. That's what I don't like. Uh, but um, I'll get to I'll talk about it a little bit later and their lemon meringue I've actually never had any of their cold pies uh, which is the pies that are in the refrigerator so I'll be interested and um, so I'm gonna start with mom's apple pie I'm not gonna eat all of the pie because Chris is like are you gonna share it with me and Chris is my husband and I'm like yeah sure and I'm not warming this up so each of the pies that you can get at the store um, you can get it you can get a whole entire pie and I'm not sure the pricing of the pies I think they start around 15 16 dollars and they go up I think depending on the pie uh, this is just the mom's generic apple pie and it's funny um, you know maybe this one will change my mind but I've actually never been a big fan of their regular apple pies or their Dutch apple or I'm not sure if it's Dutch their crumb their crumb apple I just I don't know there's something about their apple pies that, to me that are missing something um, I actually prefer their berry pies um, so but hey maybe this is a better pie we'll test it out so I didn't warm this up or anything um, so it's just generic apple pie just looks like apple cinnamon nice flaky crow dust I mean, crow dust <laughs> nice flaky pie crust crow does I don't know what's going on um, so let's give it a whirl I would say that's a lot better than the previous apple pies that I've had from their place I don't know it felt a little flat um, but this is actually tremendously better than what I've had in the past And the apples are nice and sweet but not overly sweet because sometimes you can over sugar your, your um, apples really good flavor and you can taste a little bit is there a lemon on here there's a little bit of lemon juice I taste the lemon juice um, they also have all the ingredients of their pies um, so yeah, so I stand it corrected. This one is really good. Try not to eat all the pie. I mean, I love pie. Pie is probably one of my favorite desserts. I mean, there's just so much goodness that comes out of just making, you know, the pie crust with with you know whatever your fillings are and they just I think because they just they marry well when they you know get in the oven and start cooking and all the seasonings and the sugar and and just I don't know pie is just the best dessert in my if if you like 
I actually wanted to have like a pie, like pie desserts at my wedding, but we decided just to go with like traditional wedding cake, which I have to say, our wedding cake was awesome. If you are ever in Virginia and you need a wedding cake, contact M&T Eventing. They were phenomenal. Super ladies, awesome. The cake was beautiful, but we're all about pie today. So this is the sour uh, cherry crumb. So nice rich red color from the cherries. Um, let's try it. And I like their crumb. I think they say their crumb, their crumbs contain pecans or pecans. So if you can't have nuts, probably not the best choice for you. Mm. I love their cherry pies. Like, it says sour, but they're not sour at all. This one feels a little jello-y, which is not normal, but it probably just needs to be heated up a little bit and it'll probably be good, but oh my god, if I had some vanilla ice cream, this would be phenomenal. I might not share this with Chris later. Mmm, so good. I love this. So the next one is lemon meringue. Um, they have a few cold, well I call them cold pies, you know, the pies that need to be refrigerated. Um, I end up getting the lemon meringue because my grandmother used to make lemon meringue pies. And lemon meringue is like, you know, the lemon itself is pretty easy, you know, I mean, if you know how to bake, like, mix anything together. You can make the lemon curd uh, part of it um, pretty easily. It's that meringue. <laughs> And I've never attempted to make lemon meringue pie or any type of meringue pie, um, but my dad has, and he's like, and he used to ask my grandmother when she was alive, he was like, how do you get the eggs just to be perfect? And my grandma's like, oh, you just do this and you'd be fine. And my dad's like, I did that and I was not fine. <laughs> so like, she just like, there is a, there is a technique, um, and if I had actually studied up on it, I probably would maybe be able to do it. But, like, her meringue would, you know, was pretty much like this. I mean, it should be nice and dense, but should have some give. It's not like, you know, cement. So I, I'm looking for it because, like, you know, I... I haven't really had a lemon meringue since my grandmother, she started getting, um, towards the end of her life, she had, uh, dementia or Alzheimer's, um, and, uh, so she just stopped making, you know, her, her baked goods. She, she used to make the best pound cakes and the best lemon meringue. And mind you, she used all store ingredients, but it, it tasted like phenomenal. So she just added grandma's magic to it. So this is my first lemon meringue pie since, like... God, who knows? So let's see how this matches up with my grandma's. That took me back. That took me back a little bit. So I have to say my grandmother's lemon ring a little bit better. She added, I think, I think the lemon is a little too tart. I think she would add a little bit more sugar to the lemon. Because this is really impact. Oh god, that's like, wow. It's good. I think their meringue is a little too dense. But Not a bad pie, just super tart. Woo! So the first bite. Whew. Let's put that away. So, first bite, like it was like pure nostalgia. Like pure, it took me back. And then 
Then the lemon started kicking my butt. And I was like, whoa. And like the mer their meringue was a little, a little too dense. But otherwise, really good. Um, just a little too tart for my personal preference. Um, I, I don't like for the lemon to kick my ass. Um, I, I like a little bit more smoother. And I think that's what my grandmother did. I think she put a little bit, a lot more sugar in the lemon so that it's, you know, cuts the tartness out. Um, I mean, not my favorite lemon meringue. I've had better lemon meringues, um, besides my grandmother's lemon meringue. Um, but not bad. I mean, I wouldn't get it again. Um, but yeah, so really good. I mean, you know, I don't know how long Mom's has been there. I mean, I, I feel like Mom's has been there, gosh, forever. Um, so, I mean, if you're really looking for a good pie and you're in Northern Virginia, uh, you might want to check out their two locations. I do know that if you are looking for Thanksgiving pie, they do sell, I think they pre-order them and you have like, I'm not sure if it's pre-order because like sometimes like when I drive through, uh, like Thanksgiving week, I'll see like a whole line out the door and like down the street. Um, for people, I'm not sure if they're picking up their pre-orders or, or if mom's just does a, here we make a billion pies, first come first serve. I'm not entirely sure, but great pies. Um, I, one of my favorite pie shops, um, they're always consistently good. Um, I'm glad that the apple pie is a lot better than it has been. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to eat the rest of the cherry cause that's my personal favorite and then I'm going to have a food coma and my cheat day will be done. So until next time, guys, I hope you like and subscribe. What is your favorite pie? Um, like pie. Actually, technically, my favorite pie is pumpkin. Like, I love a good pumpkin. Of course, pumpkin's not in season, so I didn't get a pumpkin pie. Um, but pumpkin is my favorite. So what is your favorite pumpkin? Do you make pie yourself? Um, I, I've, I dabble, I've dabbled in pie making a little bit, but it's mostly been like apple pies because that's, I mean, they're a pain in the butt to make. I mean, there's just so many, you have to core the apples and peel the apples, slice the apple. I mean, but <laughs> pie is just magical. It's, it truly is. So I hope you like and subscribe and have a happy pie day. And until the next bite, I'll see you later.